Yasmat is a super boss in Final Fantasy XII, and with over 50 million HP, he has the most amount of health out of any enemy in the game. Not only that, but he's also proven to be rather difficult to kill, due to his high damage output and a 5% chance to instant kill any character he attacks. He also has a move called Death Strike, which has a 100% chance to kill if it hits you. All of this combined can make the fight pretty tedious. This is why I want to show you three ways on how to beat one of the hardest bosses in Final Fantasy very easily. The first method uses the weapon Seitengrad, an overpowered invisible bow which has some crazy good stats, like 25% critical hit chance and then double range. To explain range, bows have a certain range which determines how far away you can be from an enemy and still hit said enemy when shooting it. The bigger your range, the farther away you can shoot an enemy. That's why the range of this weapon is key to this method. You walk to Yasmat as close as possible, as shown here, and start attacking him with the gambits turned off. Just keep walking closer bit by bit and always check if the character keeps shooting after one attack. Once you're at a distance where your character keeps shooting Yasmat, you can then buff your party if you'd like. However, casting Berserk on my characters in this method sometimes caused them to move a lot. That resulted in Yasmat attacking us, which is not what we want. Once you're settled, you can just let the game do its thing and kill Yasmat for you. This method only works in the Zodiac Age version and International Zodiac Job System version, because those are the only versions of the game with Seitengrad. In the second method I'm going to show you, we have to rely on magic. But before we can fight Yasmat, we have to do a small setup to get the method to work. To make this work, we'll have to lure Yasmat around the amphitheater. By repositioning Yasmat a bit, he should now be close enough to the wall so we can hit him right through the wall. But how should that work? Bows can't shoot through walls, right? That's right, and that's the reason why we use magic instead and reflect that off of us. With the status ailment reflect, we can cast spells on our party members which then bounce off of us and hit the nearest target. And in our case, the nearest target is Yasmat. We can now stand behind the walls and start casting Dark Gaw like crazy. However, you have to position yourselves correctly. If you stand too close to the staircase, the Dark Gaws will not hit Yasmat. Furthermore, be aware that one out of the three characters has to retarget Yasmat frequently. If you don't retarget Yasmat, the game considers you to be out of combat with him, and when you're out of combat for too long, he heals himself rapidly. With this setup, it should take around 20 minutes to take down Yasmat and works in every version of Final Fantasy XII. And the third and final method will use two characters for active DPS and the third one as sacrifice. Wait, hold on. Sacrifice? Indeed, a sacrifice. Because with our third character, we will use the dead character glitch, aka DCG, to block one of Yasmat's attacks. By blocking the correct attack, Yasmat gets stuck in a recasting loop which never ends unless you disable the effect of DCG. Nevertheless, depending on which version you play, the attack you can block has to be either Death Strike or Cyclotron. If you play in the Zodiac H version, you have to block the move Cyclotron. Cyclotron is what we call an FMV attack, which causes a cutscene to play once he gets the move off. These FMV attacks can only start to play once all effect consuming attacks are finished. And thanks to DCG, that won't happen. In the original PS2 version and IZJS version, you can block Death Strike with DCG and thus make the setup easier by simply walking away. Now in TZA, all you have to do is deal about 2.5 bars worth of damage and then set up DCG. You can also set up DCG first and then deal the 2.5 bars worth of damage, but personally I think the first idea is easier. Once DCG is fully set up and you dealt enough damage to trigger Cyclotron, you can let the game do the rest. Just make sure that the gambits for healing allies with Petrify are disabled. In the original PS2 version, you can actually perform DCG before initiating the fight, but after watching the introduction cutscene. Once you start the fight with Yasma, it's time to set up DCG. And once that is ready, all you have to do is trigger Yasma with the Death Strike attack. Once Yasma tries to cast Death Strike but can't do to DCG, he will be stuck. Forever. Unless of course you disable DCG in any way or form. I will go a bit deeper into DCG in my next video, 
and I'll explain the details about the trick. Since that glitch is so broken, it does deserve its own video. And that's about it. Thank you everyone for listening.